there are some things that you're not allowed to pray for. Uh, the Lord's Prayer helps us understand which things that are actually just not going to work. You are not allowed to pray as if your words matter more than God's. And so he teaches us to pray, hallowed be thy name. Uh, God's name is certainly hallowed in itself, but we pray in this petition that it would be kept holy among us also. But here's the thing, God's name is kept holy when the word of God is taught in its truth and purity. And we as the children of God also lead holy lives according to it. Help us to do this, dear Father in heaven, but anyone who teaches or lives contrary to God's word profanes the name of God among us. Protect us from this heavenly Father. You're not allowed to pray as if your words matter more than God's. And it seems awful because there's some stuff I want to say and there's some stuff that I feel to be true no matter what. And uh, what's what's wonderful, actually good, is that you get to check that against somebody who is smarter than you. It's a chance to sort of say, who is smarter? You are God. If you are smarter than God, you should get a better God. But if God is smarter than us and God also loves us enough to claim to be our father, to die, to send his son to die and rise, to adopt us as his own children in holy baptism, to promise to care for us every day, that means that it's not just he's the boss, his word goes. But it means that his words matter more because his words are about the things of life. His words are always pointing to the things that save. His words are always pointing to the things that forgive. His words are not pointed towards just the, the, the one thing that we are sure we need in this moment, but the thing that's going to carry us through this moment onto something bigger. If our words matter more than God's, well, how many times have you had to change your mind? How many times have you gone back on your words? How many times have you just realized that you were, you were wrong? But man, in that moment, it just, it was everything. We, we pray as if God's word matters more. And, and it's not just sort of a behave kind of thing, but, but rather a pay attention to Jesus who saves you kind of thing. God's word matters more. And so God's name is, is kept holy when the word of God is taught in its truth and purity. When the law accuses us of our sin, the gospel forgives us of our sin. When we are pointed to Jesus and when, when uh, we, we are, are shown that that sin breaks stuff. And so we should, we should flee from it. But in all these things, we are given shelter from it. In Jesus. This is the, the wonderful thing about being taught to pray, hallowed be thy name. You're not allowed to pray as if your words matter more. You're not allowed to pray as if the things that you, you need to say to God can somehow convince him to change his mind because ultimately his mind is set upon saving you. His, his mind is set upon bringing you through this one thing that has you so upset, so uh, angry, so afraid, so anxious. His, his, his words are speaking to this and they are speaking not just to this, this one specific thing, but to the whole entire cosmos, all surrounding this, all wrapped up in God was sent into the world to die to save you. So that this thing that you can't let go of in your heart that you're sure you need is forgiven. So that this, this thing that you can't let go of that's in your heart is, is conquered. So that this thing that you can't let go of that's in your heart even if it doesn't come, can't stop God from loving you, from saving you, and from bringing you through it unto life everlasting.